And hello and good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all our lovely viewers, subscribers, and fellow collectors from around the world. Hence, the different time greetings. Maybe the next time I'll try to do it in a different language. Guys, in this episode, we are presenting the Iron Cross Second Class by PKZ number 109 or Walter and Henline. And as usual, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Let us help to continue to spread the knowledge. As mentioned earlier, we are presenting Walter and Henline's Iron Cross Second Class. He also goes by the PKZ number 109. Unfortunately, no cross has been found with the markings of 109. So it is fair to say that this sample will definitely be unmarked. So the challenge with these unmarked crosses is looking for those features that would help you identify them for who made them. Now, one of the first giveaways of this maker is the fact that there is a flow on the first beat on the corner of the 12 and three o'clock arm as seen here. As you can clearly see around that pink circle where that arrow is pointing, there is a sort of a flaw in there. Try to look for that and this is going to be a dead giveaway that this is a WNH cross. Another interesting fact is the WNH cross uses the design by SNL or PKZ number four. Another distinct feature of this maker is the fact that the color black is found in the beading around the frame. As you can clearly see where those arrows are pointing and it's not limited to where they are pointing, you can actually find them all around the frame. And I know one of the things that you look out for on a fake cross is the black paint going up onto the beads. This is an exception to the rule because it is well known that WNH, all their cross has that black color crawling up into the paint. So if you have a 109 with you, check it out right now and more likely you'll see this feature on the beadings of the cross. It kind of looks messy, but that's what makes it distinct. And this feature can also be found on the reverse side of the cross. As you can see here, I'm just pointing to one part of the arm, but as you can clearly see that that black paint has actually crawled into the beading and you can see around it as well in the other parts of the arms and the beads that black plant is slowly crawling up there but didn't get anywhere as far as these ones that i'm presenting right now and there you go the obverse and the reverse of a wnh cross very pretty and these crosses do come with a bit of their frosting still around so if you can find one of them like this sample here grab it take it you know and one more thing about the WNH cross is the fact that the reverse date is somewhat found lower than others. Again, this is one of those things that you are told to look out for. Watch out for crosses with very low dates. But for some exceptions, and one of them is the 109, the 1813 can be found slightly lower than normal. But in this example, it kind of sits on the normal height. There you go, Walter and Handline, PKZ number. 109. Okay, guys and girls, ladies and gents, thank you very much for spending your couple of minutes with us this week. And uh, this was requested by one of our viewers. And as promised, you requested, we'll make the video just so we continue to gather your interest and maybe even help you just to become better at this hobby. Guys, this is Chris Kreutz. Thank you everyone again for uh, continuing to support us, continuing to view and continuing to give us feedback on the videos and things that we may or may not have missed. But yeah, we appreciate all the love and support and we will see you on the next one.